Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm doing a more hands-on, thorough review of the Surface Book and the Surface Pro 4 for artists. Now, I'm using a Surface Book, but the technology is exactly the same. The resolution of the screen is not the same, but the technology for both pens is the same on both. So I'm going to show you how this works in uh, this is Manga Studio 5. Uh, you know, before we do that though, let's go and adjust something. Inside of your uh, start menu, up here there's a surface button. And inside there, there's an option to change the pen pressure sensitivity. I have it all the way to the left, which is going to allow me to draw light lines with um, very delicate strokes and if I go to the right that's going to the opposite my very delicate strokes are going to create a uh, thicker line and I don't want that so all right here we go you can see the pressure sensitivity is really nice very smooth responsive I'm getting light lines when I draw lightly and medium lines and darker lines based on the pressure that I'm using all right, so one thing that I've noticed is if I draw slow, the tip kind of jitters back and forth. If I draw a little smoother, a little faster, it goes a little bit smoother. And then there's, there's no noticeable jittering in the line when I go uh, really normal speed. All right, so that's Manga Studio 5. Here's Photoshop. Now this one I have optimized to work with, let's see. All oh, right, this is the brush I'm using. All right, let's try this one. Now in my test, I found that this is, is a little laggy, and I don't know if it's because I have a couple other things open. Uh, when I'm doing this and I don't have recording on, there doesn't seem to be any noticeable lag. Alright, so we'll zoom in here. Alright, this is looking pretty normal right here. Alright, over here to the left, this is the Tablet Pro Artist Pad. And this is really excellent to use. If you have a Surface Book, I would highly recommend that you get it right away. Uh, one thing you'll notice is if I try to pull the screen off, so I press down the key and I start to pull up. It's going to say, please resolve before detaching. Now I don't have an option of swiping these to turn them off. Uh, Microsoft, if you watch this, that would be a great feature. I'd love to be able to just swipe and close these different programs so I'm able to turn the screen around. Um, we are not going to do that. So let's go ahead and try and close that. I don't know what I just said yes to, but that's not an uncommon thing for me. All right, close. Okay, all right, we got that down. All right, so we're drawing inside of Photoshop. This is giving me keyboard keys. Uh, when the screen is turned around, if I'm in tablet mode, the keyboard does not work. It's turned off uh, on purpose so that you don't accidentally press any keys, which is okay for a couple different things, but for a number of other uh, things is, is actually very frustrating and annoying and it slows down your work your workflow. So what I do is I have mine set up with Tablet Pro so I can switch and change colors. Now this I actually prefer this yeah, huge saturation brightness. For me this is a lot a lot nicer for a lot of different reasons. And then if I want to add a layer, I can add a layer. I can switch my brush characteristics or adjust my pen tip size very quickly without moving my my hand from where I'm comfortable and kind of falling out of the zone. Um, for those of you who do a lot of artwork, um, this obviously is is very clearly useful. All right, so that's Photoshop, and let's demonstrate the. Same thing that we did with the other ones. We'll go a real small line. And let's turn on shape. 
dynamics that's not the one I was looking for alright let's just demonstrate this so real slow lines you can see a little bit of jitter yeah and someone will probably do this on their own and they may have just an extremely steady hand and it may just be me but I don't think so alright so that's Photoshop a uh, little laggy but I think that's more a combination of what's going on as opposed to the program alright this is Art Rage Well, that's not a good sign. I wouldn't blame ArtRage. That one worked just fine the last time I had it open. It's probably a combination of everything that I'm trying to do at once. Alright, so you can see here, uh, this is Autodesk Sketchbook. I really like this program. I really think they did a really good job of simplifying and speeding up the process for a lot of different aspects of, of the drawing and creative process. Alright, so you can see very similar a little bit of jitter and then nice and smooth. Um, pressure sensitivity in, in really all of these programs I have found to be exceptionally good really no complaints and I've had complaints many times with other programs alright that's Autodesk Sketchbook and here's Mischief or Mischief I'm not sure one of the coolest things about this this program is you can do a massive amount of zoom Alright, so that's that's the amount of zoom that you can do, which really is impressive. Uh, kind of fun, and if you just want to sketch and doodle for a while, this is there's so many different ways that you can you can play around with that. All right, now just the pressure sensitivity in this one again, very good, very clean, very smooth lines. Uh, if I go slow. You know, it's a little bit of that wobble. Um, something that I recommend doing if you get the artist pad is going in and finding out what your shortcut keys are and then if you can program them like in some of the other programs just tap over here to create the same shortcut in each program. So if I had brush if I had brush selected and eraser if this was labeled brush and this was labeled eraser they would just be um, the shortcut keys would be selected in each of those ones for each of the different programs. So you're using the same interface basically throughout all your different programs. Saves a lot of time and uh, really speeds up your workflow if you're using a different layout <coughs> a different layout in, in different programs then the learning curve for going back and forth it tends to slow down at very least my process. Alright and um, if I haven't recommended it yet when you're trying to switch the screen uh, to tablet mode just turn off the computer first and then use the button and turn it back on it's really not um, very easy to do when the computer's already on you have to go in and manually turn off a bunch of programs if you have anything that's using the GPU and the, and the keyboard alright if you don't have if you're not subscribed I would sub subscribe I'll be putting out more information um, I'll have a gaming uh, review and benchmarks coming up 
shortly on the Surface Book. And so um, if you have questions, put your questions in the comment section and ask away and I will do my best to answer those.